internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative, and magicbrad.tv, and I've got my friend William McLeod. You there? I'm here. McLeod, there's some clouds out tonight. Have you heard the thunder? Yeah. Isn't that it's weird? not my fault, though, Brad. <laughs> yes, I heard it's thundering and lightning down south, and there's hail coming, but... We've got some hail out here in Albertville. It's hitting us right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those that don't know... Um, William and I kind of live in the same area in the western northern suburbs of the Twin Cities, and I'm in Minnetonka. He's up in you're in Albertville, right? That's correct, out in Albertville. Very cool. And you're involved with the world of imagery, video, and photography, correct? That's right. Cool. It's the business. If it's visual, I'm your guy. <laughs> and you know that is one of the things I've been talking. I just got in talking with my friend Dan McCabe and. Um, there's another guy I just got done talking with. I can't remember his name, but we were talking about video. That the only thing we, the difference between real and in person and this online thing is video. It's just that thin membrane that separates us. So that's the way to go these days, I think. It is. It's the next best thing. You know, you can't be, you, your time is finite. All of our time is finite, right? You can only meet so many people in a day, but one great video can reach thousands. Exactly, because you can you can replay that and repurpose it and put it on different platforms and uh, absolutely, it's kind of like little mini infomercials. Like you do the you do the more the production end of it, right? Do you help people like like edit it and make it all look nice and all that kind of stuff? That's right. Yep, we can we can keep it super simple, but we also have the tools to make it big, sexy, Brad. Okay. Make it really nice. Right, and you're building out a studio up there, right? Yep, we just uh, we've been now in the space now for about three months, and we are building out an 1,100 square foot studio in Albertville with a green screen wall and all the fun to dos and all the all the fun bits. I think that's really good timing because uh, you know this all the stuff that Facebook went through with their their uh, situations and all that, and Twitter just got in trouble with some of that stuff too. So I think uh, anybody that's in business is going to need some help um, uh, increasing the trust factor. Yeah. I think that's what video does. When you get to actually see somebody, you can put a face to the name, so to speak, and you can trust them a little bit more. So that's very cool. That's right. A logo is important, right? A brand is important. Mm -hmm. but, you know, who's behind the brand? Your face. Every business breaks down into the people, the process, and the product. You know, and when you can show your potential customers, those three, those three key pieces of your business, they start to get to know you better and starts to build that level of trust. And that's, that's really what it's all about, building relationships. So do you do video for like any specific niche or do you kind of go across the whole horizontal board? You can work for acupuncturists and dentists all the way up to zoologists or? I, I'm proud at this point in my life to say that I am niche free. <laughs> I'm no longer about niches yet. As a video production business, really, the skills are largely transferable across the different types of business. So um, most businesses are built up kind of those three key components, right? And we can build a story pretty much for any type of business using a relatively similar set of skills. Now, every sure. business itself is unique, but the skills that we apply to it uh, can be very similar, just regardless of the type of business. But the, the basic essence, I think, of all businesses is, to me, there's like three things. you got to generate leads, then you got to create that relationship that takes the time, and then you close the sale to make a profit. So right. you can use video to generate leads and increase that know, like, and trust factor. And then you can also use video to bond that relationship so people really know what you're about and what your mission and your vision is all about. And then you can actually do a call to action uh, close the sale kind of thing, and then you just got to leave it deal with the fulfillment. Right, easy breezy. Yeah, and, and you you know you know this. You're in the uh, you're in the, in the realm of, of creative people, Brad. And you know, with every business out there, right? They said the statistics are showing that 85 percent of the sale is made before they ever even call you or talk to you in person. Uh, and a lot of that is about generating and building relationships. And one of the best ways that you can uh, basically make yourself exponential. It's not even a multiple uh, a multiple of yourself, right? You can e exponentially reach more people in a given amount of time by putting yourself, putting your business, putting the key pieces of your business into video and pushing it out there in a way that you're, you're reaching, you know, uh, the, the, those target, uh, that target community or our, our target market, those people that you really uh, want to communicate with. Yeah, and uh, I think it was... 
uh, uh, Budweiser that when they started showing how the actual brewing process worked, that's when people, you know, they did, did video of that of how it actually works and sort of trained people and taught them how the whole thing works and people were intrigued by it. And that's kind of what built them up. I think, I think, I think I'm correct in that. Yeah. Well, Mr. Rogers started it, right? He used to take us behind the scenes of everything, <laughs> you know, but that, it was such there engaging you stuff when we were young, you know, watching Mr. Rogers take us into a police station and watch how yeah. it all works or, you know, behind a, a dance studio or a brew house or whatever. And, you know, every, every business out there doesn't, uh, it doesn't always realize that they have that potential of really telling a story. Uh, and it all starts with the story, right? If you don't, if people don't know your story, they don't, they don't care about your story because you mm -hmm. haven't, you haven't told it to them yet. And there's so many great stories out there to be told. Uh, and you know, video is, video is just really the best way to do it. So you could do that kind of thing, like an on-site deal, go to the client's, uh, space and sort of document their process. And I think when they do something like that, the prospective customer, they, they can understand like, why is it that it takes so long for a certain restaurant to bring out a certain dish? If they saw what was going into being prepared, then they would respect it more rather than going, where's my food? Where's my food? Right? That's right. That's right. A lot of things like that. I think there's a lot of uh, ways that the processes are done. Like I just saw some stuff on good old Facebook today. They were complaining about a grocery store having lots of cashier spaces, but no cashiers. Now, there must be a reason behind that. And part of it is that automated um, checkout stuff that's happening right now. So they have less need for cashiers. But it's good to take the video aspect to explain why certain things happen certain ways. You can do that. Yeah, it's all it's all available, all, all possible through do, videos. Right? Do you have some kind of like a approximate time when your studio will be ready? We are looking at about a three-week timeline for uh, things to be kind of be finished up and ready to shoot oh, in wow. terms of gel. Uh, and then obviously we got to get some furniture and throw it in there and, and put some extra bits and pieces, the finishing touches, if you will. But we're we're pretty we're ready to shoot now. We've been shooting some stuff in the studio already um, and we're ready. You know, we'll have the green screen ready in three weeks and uh, we'll have our little uh, we're going to have a little video editing theater, if you will, with a with a nice cushy couch for our clients to come sit in, have some popcorn and listen to the <laughs> 7.1 surround sound while they Ooh. watch their, their their video, not our video, their video. Um, you know, up in, in, in on the big screen. Oh, you're going to do a big screen and everything too? We're going to do a big screen, yeah. We got a, a, That's a, cool. A, 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 either a 65 or a 70-inch uh, 4K, you know, UHD TV we're going to put on the, the back wall, and it's going to be pretty impressive. So are you, you're going to have room to have a little small studio audience in there to watch your film or anything? No, you don't. Yeah, so well, well, we've been kicking around uh, with, with some of our friends out there some ideas about doing some studio stuff and uh, creating some shows. And uh, I don't know if we're getting into that today or not, but uh, yeah, some exciting stuff floating around out there. The I, ju I just used the the word film, and I know that we don't do that anymore. Film, it's all digital. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind <laughs> of it's, it's kind of the it's kind of the word that we all attach ourselves to in the in the film industry, if you will. <laughs> Although film is kind of outdated. Uh, Right. I think even when I started, uh, I, I've been in the business now for about 19 years. And when I started, it was starting to go to those little tapes, the DV tapes. And you had to you, you had to spend like hours and hours ingesting. So you, you record on the tape and it takes us all this time to bring it in. But uh, film was already on the out at that point. And at this <laughs> point, I mean, it, it's only the... Uh, it's only the hardcore believers that are still spending all the money and, and stuff to use film. Well, the media does, the medium doesn't matter to me. It's just a matter of getting the face out there and being able to connect with the prospects. So That's right. Well, I'm going to take this and do my amateur editing job and put a little intro and outro on it and beam it up to the universe and see if we can attract some attention with this and show people how a professional does it. Okay? Cool. Sounds great. Okay, thanks, William, for taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe. You enjoy your day. Be well. Peace.